and I can tell you exactly where and when you can find her. Remember how Faraday was growing up? His mom made him stop playing music mm -hmm. and focus on his science. Yeah. And now he's a magician in this life. A magician. A musician. <laughs> now he's a magician. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for your favorite day of the week. Lost. Lost day. Yeah. We're heading back to the island. Yep. For some more Lost. Getting closer and closer to that finale. Yep. What happened last time you watched Lost? Honestly, I can't remember. I burned that memory out of my brain, right. I think. Let's see. Uh, I was mad about something. Shocker. I think the most important event that happened was Saeed was in the water... And saw Widmore's secret weapon. And it wasn't a what, it was a who. Oh, Desmond. Yeah. Yeah, he's using Desmond again. That's why I hate it. That's why I burned that out of my brain because I was so mad about that. Yeah. Because I love Desmond and I just want him to be happy. I didn't want him to be drugged back through this. I mean, yeah. But so, clearly Desmond's important for some reason. Yeah, what do you think he's important for? I don't know. He's got a magnetic soul or something. Yeah. Okay, well, should we jump in and see what's next for the lost survivors? Sure, but first, like, comment, subscribe if you want. If you don't want to because of how I react to this one, that's okay, too. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to reviews, full-length commentaries, or access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Yep, we also look at the social media, so if you like Twitter or Instagram, you can follow us at YouMeTheMovies. Yep, on both. Yep. Let's watch some more Lost. Here we go. Oh, Desmond. Mr. Hume, my name is Zoe. You I want to see Penny. I'm afraid that's not going to be possible, Desmond. Son of a... <laughs> I didn't have a chance to explain, and if I had... You wouldn't have listened, ma'am. I brought you back to the island. I can't imagine how you must be feeling. Really pissed. Look at that. Look at that nostril movement. <laughs> He's about as mad as you as for him bringing him back. <laughs> the island isn't done with you yet. Charles, that, that, that test isn't scheduled till tomorrow. I know when it's scheduled. Get them ready now. I don't even know how you say scheduled. It's a weird way to say scheduled. That's how they say it. Mm. England. Did they go to shul, too? The generator. He is a gener- he's just like a human generator, you think? They're gonna hook him up and he's gonna power the whole island? <laughs> what are you doing here? We're running a little test. What kind of test? Alright, let's see where we are. Can we get a functioning EM? Human electromagnetic- magnetic test. And power on. What are they going to do to Desmond? It's got to be something about Desmond, how he, like, survived that huge magnetic... The hatch of blown yeah. up? Yeah. Like, it, he must have absorbed all of the power of the... Now he's Hulk or something. <laughs> right? Like, he's got to be, like, part of the Fantastic Four or something now. <laughs> Bringing it back online now. No! <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Turn it off! Turn it off! You just killed that guy. He's not just a pool. I'll be ready. Let's go. Just fried a human being alive, but yeah. <laughs> They're ready. <laughs> oh god. Desmond can handle it. It's fine. <laughs> Extra crispy. I know how this looks, Desmond. But if everything I've been told about you is true, you'll be perfectly fine. You don't have any metal on you, do you? I hate to resort to forcing this upon you, Desmond. But once it's over... Oh, he's not magnetic. He's like... Repulses metal? Ew. 
I really should have thought about tying the chair down, right? <laughs> Bolting it to the floor. Yeah. Wasn't he naked after it for a while? Are you hoping for that again? Yep. Come on, Desmond. You can do it. Did he just shrink? Didn't look like he was getting smaller. I think he fell to the floor. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. A boy. What? Bet it's a boy. Looks like I'm a you. Mr. Hume. So, uh, we'll take you back to your hotel? The office. Oh, this wonderful. Uh, this way, please. Works for Whitmore now. Charles. Hello, Desmond. Welcome to Los Angeles, my friend. Thank you. They're buddies. You are aware that my son is a musician? Yes. But he's quite talented. Yeah, he is. Right. Charlie is his son? He's talking about Faraday. Oh. I was going to say, that is weird, right? <laughs> Slancha. Cutchins, huh? You see the painting on his wall? No. I mean, I did, but I didn't. It was a scale. A scale of black and white stones on each. Oh, interesting. Like a scale of justice? The scale in the cave. I don't remember the scale in the cave. Hey! It's over. Everything starts to go dark. I'm slipping into the abyss, and then I see her. Oh. A woman. Stewardess? Blonde. No. <laughs> oh, Claire. That's my band, Drive Shaft. Our first single. You are everybody. All right, Mr. Hume. How about I offer you a choice? I can either show you what I'm talking about, or you can get out of the car. <laughs> well, in God's name, what I want to get out of the car. <laughs> Going for near-death experiences to try and see the love of your life? That's interesting. What's going on? He is uh, bouncing between multiverses. I need to find the man I came in here with. I'm afraid you're not finding anyone until we know what's going on inside your brain. Uh-oh. Any metal inside of your body? Pacemakers, pins, bullets, uh -oh. steel plate inside of your head? No. He's a giant electromagnet. <laughs> I think he's gonna blow up this cat scan machine. Wouldn't be surprised. Stop worrying about me. Start looking for Penny. Right. I don't know. To do it. With all due respect, sir, it's just a bloody concert. I'll tell you what, Desmond. If you can't deliver pace, why don't you tell Mrs. Whitmore it's only a bloody concert? Why is Charles Woodmore so afraid of his wife? Most men are.
I'm not that scary. Never met the boss's wife, huh? No. Nope. Good luck. Okay, so everyone's afraid of her. Oh, of course, Mr. Hume. Charles has told me so much about you. Does Penny exist? Thank you so much, Mr. Hume, for coming and telling me in person. A pleasure meeting you. I know. That wasn't so bad. You need to stop looking for it. I don't know why you're looking for anything. You have the perfect life. How do you know what I want? Because I bloody do. Because she jumps the multiverse with you? Because you're not ready yet, Desmond. I feel horrible for Desmond. He always He's always part of some story that he doesn't understand. <laughs> like everybody always knows something and they leave Desmond out of the conversation. He's like the most important character and yet nobody will tell him anything. I just think it's so rude. My name is Daniel, Daniel Widmore. We need to talk. We need to talk. I'm a time traveler. What's Daniel now, huh? This is all pretend. Do you believe in love at first sight, Mr. Hume? <laughs> I do. Me too. First time I saw her was walking through this museum a few weeks ago. Charlotte. And as soon as I saw her, it was like I already loved her. Yeah, like you knew her already, right? I woke up and I wrote this. So what is it? I'm a musician. I have no idea. <laughs> she's an idea. No. She's my half-sister. And I can tell you exactly where and when you can find her. So you're telling me love conquers all. Is that what's happening here? Love conquers all. Love Remember how Faraday was growing up, his mom made him stop playing music mm -hmm. and focus on his science? Yeah. And now he's a magician in this life. A magician? A musician. <laughs> now he's a magician. <laughs> Which is essentially what physics is. It's just somebody being a magician. And she runs the stairs instead of him. Are you Penny? Uh, yes. <laughs> You're my soulmate. Uh, hi. Did that fix it? Did this, did this fix the timeline? No. No, this was just an experiment to see if he could survive it. Yeah. He's okay. Indeed he is. Because he's a magician. No, that's Faraday. Oh. Your talent is vital to our mission. Tony. He's like Fantastic Four or something. You told me you brought me here to the island to do something very important. Yeah. Faraday explained it to him. When do we start? Well, he's on board. Whatever. Doesn't change that you're gonna... Oh, oh. Desmond, I don't have time to explain, but these people are extremely dangerous. We need to go now. I, of course. Lead the way. Hmm. What happened? Well, I shook your hand and then you fainted. It must have quite an effect on you. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> hey, listen, um... Would you like to go for a coffee? There's a coffee shop on the corner of Sweetser and Melrose. I'll meet you there in an hour. Absolutely. Eloise is going to be in there like... Don't! Can you get me the manifest for my flight from Sydney? Oceanic 815. Just the names of the passengers. Sure, I can. <laughs> this guy's a magician. <laughs> I just need to show them something. I don't know what. <laughs> uh, 
sell this show. All right. What do you think? It's like, yeah, Love Conquers All. Don't know. Yeah. Is that your favorite episode of the season so far? Yeah. Maybe of the last, like, three seasons. I'm not sure. <laughs> that last episode was called Happily Ever After. Okay. Makes sense. It was a good episode. Yeah. It'll They'll ruin it, I'm sure, but. They'll ruin it, you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. But that one was good. He's like Desmond. I, 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 I don't know. I appreciate the storyline that is the soulmate sort of situation. Yeah. That regardless of circumstance and world hopping and multiverse, they find their way back to each other because their souls are connected. Which I just feel like is a thing. So. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. It's one of my reason, one of the reasons why Desmond's one of my top three favorite characters in this show because yeah. of his storyline. So. So what does Desmond want to show the people on the plane? Near-death experiences so they all get to experience their soulmates? Their soul's <laughs> you think mates? so? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, it seems like Daniel Widmore slash Faraday knows about it and Charlie knows about it, mm-hmm. right? Maybe that's it. Well, should we jump in and see what's next? Yeah. Let's watch some more Lost. Here we go. You told me you brought me here to the island to do something very important. The electromagnet puts a shield... That keeps the evil in. Right? Like, that must be... Long love affair with chicken led him to acquire and then expand. Fried chicken does sound really good. Mr. Clucks is the best. I'm kind of disappointed. Have a cluckety cluck cluck day. Kind of disappointed we don't have fried chicken. It's never too late. It is a little bit. (laughs) At the Golden State Natural History Museum. A lasting is that the of culture. Doctor from the island. Mm-hmm. The orientation video? Yeah. Miles' is dad? Yeah. Hugo Reyes. Now his mom is less than enthused. <laughs> Why does she look like that? You need a woman in your life, especially <sighs> one who has not nursed you. That's disgusting. <laughs> Somewhere. You're not too busy. You're too scared. I'm not scared. What? Because you have- Enter Libby. What's she like? Willing to meet you, Ma. You're <laughs> going. <laughs> She's willing to meet you. A lot of people have come to talk to me after they've, you know, gone. It'd be nice if you did too. What are you doing? Oh, he's dead. That's right. I'm here to stop you from getting everyone killed. He's also the one that shot Libby. Mm-hmm. He blew up on the boat. Yeah. On the freighter. Oh, chips and salsa sound good too. Man, everything looks good. Everything that we don't have here <laughs> right now. Everything we'd have to drive to town to get. Man. You know what? I'll take you anywhere you'd like. You go? <laughs> Libby! Uh, I wasn't expecting someone like you. Uh, I'm sorry? You know, someone who's so... White? Pretty. Because doesn't her name like Anna Lucia or Rosalita, I think that's what her name was. You don't look like a Rosalita. <laughs> um, my name isn't Rosalita. It's Libby. Are you at the wrong table? Well, How did you know my name? Well, if I tell you, you're going to think I'm crazy. You're famous. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's going on? I apologize for the intrusion. Oh, Come on. Dr. Bose, oh, if I... Because she's crazy. That's right, I remember. Everything that I said, Hugo, I meant it. Oh, uh, she's crazy in this timeline, too, huh? Is she, though? No, 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 no. But they think she is, obviously. Well, she might be. I don't know. <laughs> Is Dave on that van too? Remember Dave? His uh, um, Hugo's friend, Im- imaginary friend, who maybe was just a real friend that was dead, right? Like he could have just hey, been a know. real guy that was not dead. You have the dynamite. Four sticks, enough to destroy the cockpit and all the instruments. And you, and you will definitely be careful. You have to trust me. 
I've been training my whole life for this. Too close, Stefa. <laughs> Jacob said Richard would know what to do. And Richard said to blow up the plane, correct? And you're just throwing water bottles in with the dynamite right now? It's evil. And God help us if it ever leaves this island. Because if it's Oh boy. Our install over again. She was not careful with that dynamite. But she was an expert. She trained her whole life for that. Right. <laughs> to blow things up. What's he gonna do with Desmond? Don't know. <laughs> the diamonds? We get more dynamite, or else she died for nothing. Maybe she died to show us to stay the hell away from dynamite. <laughs> it's the only choice we've got. Trust me, Jack. What? Now he's arguing for it? I mean, Richard should be the one holding the dynamite the whole time anyways, because he can't die. Right, exactly. <laughs> What's Hurley doing now? No, no. Give me a bucket. Family side. Oh, of course, right away, sir. All dark meat. That's how I prefer it. I met a girl on a blind date the other night. And you didn't, it didn't go how you'd hoped. Hmm. She's totally awesome. Except for one thing. She's crazy. <laughs> well, all women are a little bit crazy, bro. <laughs> yep. You throw me into a wood shack and... Blast me with a massive amount of electromagnetism. Uh oh. Trade secret. Head back to camp. I'll be back soon. Where are you going? Desmond and I need to take a walk. Something I'd like to show you. A ghost or the, the dark mist guy? What's he gonna show him? Uh -huh. No sooner does she tell you who you are than she blows up. <laughs> Makes me wonder what's going to happen when it's done with us. Profound. Think it's going to blow Ben up? Probably won't blow him up. It'll be more creative than that. I don't want anyone but me handling that dynamite, so I'm going to go in alone. Should have thought about that the first time. Ben! Go, go, go! Oh. He wanted to blow the whole thing up. Now they can't use the dynamite. What, what are we supposed to do now? That's it. We're That's dead. Enough. We're all dead. Dude, you're not dead. You're like you are literally living forever. That happened a lot. Dead people yelling at you. Happens enough. And you just listen to whatever they say. Dead people more reliable than alive people. You hope. Would you like to? Do something? You mean a date? Yeah. I love that. We're gonna go on their date. Picnic. Who's that? Just ignore him. Jacob. Do you know that boy? I said ignore him. <sighs> she just looks creepy, right? Jacob isn't telling us what to do because Jacob never tells us what to do. I'm going to make this simple. If that thing leaves the island, that's it. it. It's over. I'm destroying that plane. And I can use all the help I can get. Who's coming with me? Oh, I don't know what is the truth anymore. I think Hurley's lying. He just thought of that idea himself. Yeah, I think he was lying about that. You think he's right, though? I don't know. I'm going with Hugo. Really? Ugh. All the ones that have to join back up with Locke for them to be able to leave, right? Uh-oh. That looked like an... Worried look. Yeah. He's like, I'm not so sure about it, but... Probably. Because <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. Wait. 
It's cool. I think I know what these things are. Oh, yeah. What the hell are they? I would love to know what they are. What are they? Fairies. There are others out here. Like you, aren't there? Lost souls. Yeah. We're the ones who can't move on. Oh, ghosts. It's a ghost island. Can't move on. Like, they're stuck in purgatory? Hmm. Back to that again. Picnic. On the beach. I think you like cheese because... Everybody likes cheese. Yep. I love cheese. Is it the wrong? No, not wrong. Just... Off. Familiar. I want to be with you... Because I like you. Yeah, but... You like me because... When you're... Delusional. <laughs> so only a crazy person could like you. There we go. Where's Desmond off to next? The next person. Get your pennies out. The reason I wanted you to see this, Desmond, is because Charles Widmore is not interested in answers. He's only interested in power. And he brought you back to this island so that you could help him find what he's looking for. After all, this isn't the only one. Why aren't you afraid? Why is the point in being afraid? just hovering at the bottom of it like this he's hovering so yeah. it's like a magnet and he's like the opposite end of a magnet or so two positive sides right so he's, he's just like okay. <laughs> i don't know i don't know who you are dude or what you want we have to talk to you we we're not gonna do anything i want you word that you're not gonna do anything either you have my word Okay, guys, come on out. Excuse me? Well, I noticed you've been parked here a while watching the kids and, well. It's creepy. It is a school. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Just wait. Desmond goes and talks to Hurley, and then he runs over Locke. Yeah. He was definitely going faster than the school zone, too. Get All right. Ticket. What's on your mind after those two episodes? Uh, more about I, the power of love, I guess. I'm yeah. not sure what Locke being hit by a car has to do with that, but I guess we shall see. It's the power of love, baby. It's a curious thing. <laughs> <laughs> And then more just teasing us but with the who is good, who is evil, who is good, who is evil. Yeah. What you, who is right, who is wrong. Yeah. Well, we learned about the voices in this. The voices yeah, the, hearing, that they're ghosts. They're lost souls. Yeah. Stuck on the island. Hmm. Interesting. So you're still trying to figure out if the mat, the smoke monster, if fake lock is uh, good or bad? I think or... he's bad. I just don't, I don't know, can't be certain. Yeah. So now they're all kind of united other than Jin is with Widmore, right? Mm-hmm. What are they going to do? Go try to take off on the plane, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got to head over to the Hydra Island. Yeah, they got to head there. to the other island. All right. That's what that group was waiting but, for. But uh, Ben and Richard, when they're straight there, they're on their way there right now. Mm -hmm. Are they going to blow up the plane? 
I don't know. Yeah. Well, there is technically at this point two two ways to get off the island. There's the submarine, yeah, and the plane. and the airplane mm-hmm. that they could both use. So, although I'm not certain about the plane being able to take off if yeah. if it was drawn to the island, how who's to say that it can't leave? Well, Desmond's in the bottom of a well now. Yeah, but he's just maybe he's like this, negating the magnet power because he's floating on top of it right now. <laughs> I don't know. And, Perhaps. Yeah. Maybe that was Maybe the that... plan all along. Let now the... get caught, get thrown in the well. And now the smoke monster can leave because the magnet's not pulling anything. It's trying Could to be. repel Desmond. Hard to know. Yeah. Got no idea. Wow. It's Crazy. Mind-blowing show. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you like these two episodes? I liked the first one better. Yeah. This one was fine. Yeah. Well, we had Hurley and Libby's love connection coming yep. back around, so... Very cute. Another mm-hmm. soulmate story. Yep. So, yeah. The power of love, these last two episodes. It's redeeming. Yeah. It's a redeeming quality in the show, I guess. Well, there you go. Maybe, maybe you'll come around by the time it's all over. Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. Well, what should people comment on? Favorite love connection. Yeah. Who's your favorite couple on Lost? Just saw Desmond and Penny tonight and Hurley and Libby. Yep. And then Jack and Kate made eyes at each other. Definitely. Once again, every time they run into each other, it's always those, yep. hey there, eyes. Who's your favorite couple? Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Lost. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls that we'll pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.